News that TikTok is going to release their own streaming service. This is from Hypebeast. TikTok may release its own streaming, its own music streaming service coming very, very soon. The company behind TikTok, which is ByteDance, is rumored to be in, in talks with several big record companies to launch a platform to compete with Spotify and Apple Music, which is interesting, right? They're, they're doing a collaboration with record companies. It's long been believed that, um, especially now we have news that supposedly, allegedly, Zane Lowe at Apple or Apple in general, Apple Beats One, they pay some of the big artists to come and do radio interviews with them exclusively at some point. So if you've ever wondered why Beats One tend to have like, you know, some of the biggest artists always coming down and talking to Ebro and Zane Lowe and, you know, going through the motions and talking absolute bullshit. Now you know that they actually pay uh, the artist or the record label or whatever it may be for their time. And some and most, if not all record labels, all radio stations don't do that, which is why they're able to get the best um, guest. Especially now that most of the bigger artists tend to not want to go on the likes of The Breakfast Club and Hot 97 because they're a bit more combat combative and maybe a bit more gossip laden or gossip, um, you know, driven. It makes sense that they go to Apple. And if you've got the cherry on top of pay me, then why not? So with that, um, we now see that there is some kind of payola going on. But we know that it only works with certain record labels, have relationships with certain radio stations, right? So to now see a streaming platform potentially actively going out there and trying to, and trying to actively going out there, not hiding the fact that they're working with a record label is very interesting because you're not going to get much. Um, it doesn't seem as if it will be an even playing field. If they link up with Columbia Records and you're not on Columbia, what? why would you assume if you're an up-and-coming artist that your work or your album is going to get promoted in the same way that other high-level Colombian artists will. It won't happen, will it? So that's the bit where I'm a bit miffed about. I'm not too sure what, it, what, what that means for everyone else who's kind of putting their um, work out on the DSPs. According to the Financial Times, the streaming service will first arrive in the opening markets such as India before making its introduction to the United States. So maybe it might be region specific, you don't know. Um, it went on to report music executives are keen to make money from the free to use app TikTok, whose users utilize as lip syncing, dancing and music in their videos. So again, I'm interested to see how it's gonna work because we know TikTok has got, I think that it's been downloaded over a billion times. They've got a really active user base. Most of it, if not all of it is primarily towards um, younger kids at the moment. But we know most apps always start like that. They always start, um, being directed at a specific segment of the population. Just look at Facebook, right? When Facebook first launched, it was effectively a way to connect uh, college students with other people in their campuses and stuff. I know when I was first on Facebook and I went to Central, Central St. Martins, it was mostly a platform for people that went to university or further education. And then after that, and after the fact when it kind of blew up, it was a way to kind of connect everybody all around the world. So don't be surprised if we see um, TikTok age up along the, along the way, right? So when people start... When, when Instagram's uh, reach starts to decrease or people just start to get bored of the platform, because even when I don't use Instagram too often, whenever I pop in and out of it, I always see that a lot of my friends or people that I know tend to not post too much on their actual feed. No one posts that that often. So people are not posting a lot of stories. They usually, so People are not posting a lot on their Instagram feed, but they're posting a lot of Instagram stories. So they're using it effectively like a Snapchat platform. So maybe when that kind of phases out maybe people might tend to go to tiktok for a little bit of silly stuff maybe tiktok might be the way that people do their um what was that thing called when people have a, a, an instagram account that's like underground that's like no one knows about they can post up silly stuff i forgot the name of it but maybe they might, they might do that for on twitch on tiktok sorry so that could be an avenue but i'm interested, I'm interested to see how it's going to age up whether or not we're going to see people above the age of 25 lip syncing and dancing around and making um sketch videos in the same way where we see people doing it now i'm not sure if that's going to work out in the same way watch the space i guess but yeah interesting how it's going to work will it be region specific if they launch it in india will we see just um indian will we see just mostly indian artists who are signed to their labels there kind of get promoted or will it be a global service that kind of allows artists from all over the world to blow up on there i do know that the is it Jay Sean? That Jay Sean record blew up on TikTok, right? The Jay Sean remix of Ride or something like that. I remember reading that some time ago. Some some DJ, I think from Eastern Europe or some guy. He's like, what, not, not that well known. He made a, a random edit of a Jay Sean track, put it up on SoundCloud. They didn't really get that money hits. And then suddenly, I don't know, it got found by some kid and they started making a challenge with it. It was, like make, it was part of the little sketches they do on TikTok. And then suddenly it blew up. And now this kid, this guy, we made this random edit off from Jay Sean's track has now blown up and he's got bookings all over the place and all that stuff. I think he might have got signed as well. And I think Jay Sean too, and he's flipping as a great dude that he is, he decided not to kind of, you know, try and rinse the guy out of any money like Sting did with um, 
uh, with Juice World and Lucid Dreams. He just kind of like, yeah, like let him enjoy his moment. And I had my fun with that tune. I got what I can out of it. If he wants to have fun, let him have fun. So that was quite cool to see. So maybe we might see some of that happen. A lot of a lot of older tracks come popping up again. It would be quite cool if Nelly hot in here like suddenly blew up again. And he's and yeah, you know I mean, just just weird tracks come back out again. The kids connect with him. It's just cool to see, really. So let's see where this kind of leads to. Um, I'm not sure how they're going to do it, where they're going to do it, how it's going to launch, but. The streaming service is getting competitive, man, from even just the movie stuff with Disney Plus and compete with Netflix, Hulu, Amazon and all this stuff and Apple as well. And now we've got the music wars are going on. There's news now that Amazon have effectively made their music service, their music streaming service free to effectively attract new customers. So let's see what happens there. It's all kicking off, man. It's all kicking off.